Hey folks, Destroyers127 here with a brand new game, Banished. I This game is really addictive and awesome. Um, the background you can see here is a bit of my old town that I have started off messing around with. It grew quite well. Um, this game is awesome, it was made by one guy, and yeah, I just thought it'd be a cool game to throw into a playthrough. Alright, let's look through this. Um, disasters. We'll go with, we'll have disasters on. We'll plan our medium. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Large climate. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a mild climate. And I'm going to call it Mycenae. Golden Mycenae. Um, what you might know of from the Trojan War as the home city of Agamemnon. So, let's get started. Yeah, this game, it's like, I, I literally bought it just like two days ago after watching some videos about it on YouTube. And it's like, it's really addictive. Simple, sort of city building, research management, but overall, an awesome game. Um, yeah, it's, let's see, it's not the most action-packed game, um, let's pause it quickly and take a look at here. So, this is the world I'm in. Uh, let's go in here and bring up, there's a mini-map, which shows sort of an overview up here of all the area in mine, and I'm right here. Um, here we have our professions. And you can just drag and drop those, so I'm going to leave that there. General statistics, yes, I like that. And I think it's law, the log. Let's see. Um, sign job, yeah, that's that one. Yeah, that's the log. All right. So that's what I like having here. So basically, you start off with these people. They each have different names. Nobody has a house. So, it's early spring. Now, the purpose of this game is pretty much to survive and build up your um, civilization. You start with a barn and this stockpile. So, without further ado, I suppose I should go and... I'm going to start off with some simple houses. Let's see. Um... You can rotate it like that, and... Alright, I'm gonna set a house here. Let's see. Yeah. One house. Two. Uh, how much do I have? I don't really have that... Well, I have enough. I'm just gonna put them right in a row. Um, let's see. So I'll put three houses there for five. And that should be enough for everyone to live in. However, I'm going to pause these two houses and only focus on those until I can get some food going. So at the beginning, I find Gatherer's Hut is very good. Um, the one trick with the Gatherer's Hut if you see this um, yellow bar around it, is you could it pretty much that needs to be woods because otherwise the ga it's like the gatherer it has to be gathering in the woods. So if I build the gatherer's hut, let's say up here, which I think I'm going to do, it's like you can't really go and build anything in that area because it just lowers the efficiency of the gatherer's hut. So I'm going to do that, get the gatherer's hut there, and I'm also going to... what else do we have here? I think that's it. Alright, I'm pausing it, and I'm going to play at 5 times speed initially. I might jump it up to 10. Now let's see. Gonna get some builders, and you assign different professions. Builders build the buildings like from this structure, and then everyone else 
goes and gathers it. Roads make faster travel. And I'm going to connect this city with a road to speed travel. And then they'll and then the builders will have to build that. Um I am going to increase the priority of this. See how that goes. Now you can see eleven of my citizens do not have homes. Which hopefully will let's see they're moving in here. Um, let's see, what else do I need to get going here? I suppose I should probably... Since I'm right by the water, I, I want to take advantage of that. And I will stick a fishing dock. A little bit difficult to find a good point for it. Ah, there we go. Ah, perfectly, right behind them. And I'll connect that with a road. And I have to keep attention to how much resources I have. Which is starting to dwindle. So I'm going to remove all of this resource. Once I get the house. Come on, guys, finish that up. Yeah, this is re a really cool game. Um, very addictive. You enjoy playing it a lot. Um, yeah, see, now I only have three people. And it's spring. Reserves on firewood. Oh, my firewood's running low. That's right. I'm gonna have to gather some woods, harvest those trees here. Which is fine, because I'm going to be expanding out that way anyway. Now let's see, a gatherer. I'm going to assign four people to that, just because food is very important. Very, very important. Um, I could go for crop seeds, which is okay. Um, the only why is that over the house? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna just gather all the resources in here. I'm just gonna have them do that. Now, all right. So basically, the gatherers now will be working up there. Fishermen. I'm gonna put two guys in there. And then I'm gonna have one other person build. Th I'm gonna have someone build this house here. That's, I think it's a bug. How that thing keeps showing up over there. Um, then. The next important thing, I think, is to get a... Where is it? Um... I'm not seeing it. Oh, yeah, a woodcutter. Now... The woodcutter... I cannot see what's going on over here. So I'm just going to cut down those trees, just so I can get a good view on what's going on. Um, yeah, the building that. And now, yeah, these guys, you see, like, if I zoom in, you can't... So where is that person? There you go. This person is a gatherer, and they're bringing in some berries and onions that they've been gathering. 
But yeah, um, this game, like I said, was made by one person, and I, like, I find that really, that's really cool, that was only one guy. Um, and it's actually, has very few bugs, like, that's a weird bug, I don't know what the deal with that is, but, for the most part, there's not really bugs.